Good morning, my favorite little ones. Welcome back to my house for circle time. It is so good to see you. I miss you guys so much. Can you stand up to do the pledge with me? Great. Can you take your hand and put it on your heart? Good job. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great work. Guys, before we take a seat, let's do a little song and dance. Are you ready? Great. Hello, friends. What do you say? It's going to be a wonderful day. So clap your hands, stomp your feet, turn around and take a seat. Oh my goodness. Guys, that's such a great job. I miss you so, so much. Let's start our calendar time. Are you ready? Yes. Guys, what month is it? It's March. No, it's not March anymore. It's April. Great job. Clap it out with me. April, April, April. Good work. And guys, today is, oops. We forgot to sing our month song. Let's go back and do that first. Are you ready? Volume up. Let's do it. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Then we start all over. Good work. You guys are outstanding. Okay, now we can move on to our day of the week. Silly Miss Sarabella. Are you guys ready? Today is whoa, 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 whoa. Wednesday. Sing it with me. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Guys, today is Wednesday, but are there other days of the week? Yes, there are. Good job. Sing it with me. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Good job! You guys are so amazing at helping me solve our calendar mysteries. We know that the month is April, we know that the day is Wednesday, but we have two mysteries to solve. What are they? <gasps> yes! A number mystery and a color pattern mystery. Let's solve our number mystery first. Can you guys help? Yeah, let's do it. Volume up. Good job. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good job. You guys are so smart. One of our mysteries is solved. We've got one more to go. Can you help me solve our color pattern mystery? You can, I knew you could. Let's do it. Let's start with yellow. Are you ready? Yellow, gray, yellow, gray, yellow, gray, yellow, gray. Outstanding job. Guys, it's a gray 15. You solved our mystery. Our mystery number is 15. Our mystery color is gray. And 15 looks like a one and a five. Outstanding. Let's do it. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. I have a question for you. What country do we live in? America. Great work. Who is the president of the United States of America? It's Donald Trump. Good job. What number president is Donald Trump? Great job, 45. Outstanding, 
a 45 looks like a 4 and a 5. So smart. And where does the president live? Yes, he lives in the White House. You guys, those big brains. Guys, the president and the White House are located in Washington, D.C. But do we live in Washington, D.C.? Hmm. No, we don't, but we live close. What state do we live in? Maryland. Good job, guys. Can you help me out? Can you find Maryland? Can you find Maryland on the map? On the map. I know you can find Maryland. I know you can find Maryland just like that. Just like that. Let's do it. Let's see if we can find Maryland. Point our fingers up. <gasps> Boom. Great work. You found it. You guys, you're so smart, so amazing. Today, I have a book I want to read to you that was actually given to me by Miss Jackie. And it's one of my favorite books. And I think that you're really going to love it too. It's called, What Would You Do With a Chance? This book is written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Basin. Guys, the author is Kobe Yamada. What does an author do? Hmm. Yes, that's right. He writes the words. And illustrated by Mae Basin. What does an illustrator do? That's right. Draws the pictures. Amazing job. Let's get started. One day I got a chance. It just, it just seemed to show up. It acted like it knew me, as if it wanted something. I didn't know why it was here. What do you do with a chance, I wondered. It fluttered around me. It brushed up against me. It circled me as if it wanted me to grab it. I started to reach for it, but I was unsure and pulled back. And so it flew away. I thought about it a lot. I wished I had taken my chance. I realized I had wanted it, but I still didn't know if I had the courage. When another chance came around, I wasn't so sure, but I decided I'd try. I went to reach for it, but I missed it and fell. I was embarrassed. I felt foolish. It seemed like everyone was looking at me. I decided I never wanted to feel this way again. So after that, whenever a chance came along, I ignored it. And the more I ignored them, the less they came around. until one day I noticed that I hadn't seen a chance in quite a while. It was as if they had all disappeared. I started to worry. What if I don't get another chance? I know I acted like I didn't care, but the truth was I did. I still wanted to take a chance, but I was afraid, and I wasn't sure if I would ever be brave enough. Then I thought, Maybe I don't have to be brave all the time. Maybe I just need to be brave for a little while at the right time. I realized it was up to me. I promised myself that if I ever got another chance, I wasn't going to hold back. If I got another chance, I was going to be ready. Then, one seemingly ordinary day, I saw something shining far off in the distance. Is it possible, I hoped? Could this be my chance? I had to find out. I ran as hard and as fast as I could toward it. I don't know how to explain it, but the second I let go of my fears, I was full of excitement. It wasn't that I was no longer afraid, 
but now my excitement was bigger than my fear. As I got closer, I could see that this was a really huge chance. Look how big it is. But this time I was ready. As it came by, I reached out and grabbed it. I held on with all my might. It felt so good to soar, to fly, to be free. I now see that when I hold back, I miss out. And I don't wanna miss out. There's just so much I want to see and do and discover. So, what would you do with the chance? You take it, because it just might be the start of something incredible. The end. I really hope that you guys like that book as much as I do, and I know that you would make the best of all of your chances because you're the smartest and bravest kiddos in the world. I miss you guys so, so much, and I can't wait to see you again. Mwah! Bye.